back again exploration yeah. outfitters in route looks pretty sweet yes looking good got the AC fixed I didn't tell you guys but the AC went out on it so that was about a $1,200, $1,500 little mishap. Not mishap, just we had to redo it. So we got the wheels, black rhino wheels. How'd y'all do that? I gotta see how y'all did that. Swing arm with the spare on it. So you wanna pull in here and it's got a little tension with it being new. Cool. So you might need to push in. Well, I'm not even man enough to do it. Sweet, oh, it's got hydraulic. Yeah, and then this will lock it open. So you can push that into there. Gotcha. Into that lock, and it won't close on you when cool. you're getting in and out. My, my bed awaits me this week. I gotta clean it out. I got all kinds of stuff everywhere. Sweet. Back bumper, swing arm, new tires, new wheels, front bumper, and a whole new suspension kit. We got a two inch lift going on. Kind of has a little higher end on the back, but that's just how those Dobinson suspensions are, I guess. But we still got to get it all ceramic coated. Got the paint correction. My uh, cousin-in-law is going to be doing that. Uh, so he needs to get up here and clean this bad boy. But I'm taking it to New Mexico first. So I'll uh, talk to you guys more when I get on the road. Little transformation video right here. I think it looks freaking awesome and I can't wait to take it into the mountains. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. I am in New Mexico. I got my buddy Christopher Morning. down from Colorado. Y'all seen him in a bunch of videos. And uh, we're staying in this awesome little cabin. We got in last night, drove through the day yesterday, brought the cruiser. She handled amazingly. And I'm gonna get y'all some epic footage of uh, of us taking this around. We are here to scout for elk season. Me and Chris both have a muzzle loader tag and uh, we're going to try, or that's our goal. We're trying to find something, something like that. I mean, even, uh, even like, his little brother would be okay. A lot smaller than that would be okay. So, uh, we're gonna do some fly fishing and hanging out. I'm just happy to be in the mountains. It was like 58 degrees yesterday, which was absolutely amazing since it's been about 110 at home for the past uh, four months. So uh, y'all stay tuned, enjoy, and uh, we're just gonna have us a good old time here in the mountains. Well, I literally just broke out the spotter. What do you think, 30 seconds? Yeah. Found a nice herd of elk, so I'm gonna get y'all some scope cam footage and hopefully there's some bulls in there i haven't i didn't really look at them i just found them and put chris on four them. cows so far yeah maven baby only way to go chris has the same setup as me but he actually has the straight version um i think i'm gonna throw my binos on see if we can find some more elk and then put them in the big glass No bulls, all I count is five elk, five, five cows. So keep searching. Hopefully we can find us a, turn us up a big bull somewhere. Well, about two minutes later, found another group of cows. No bulls. But we'll find them. We've been here four minutes. Found two groups already, so.
Look at that ratty goatee. Hmm. <laughs> one's turned up, <laughs> one's turned down. <laughs> it's because I've been leaning like this the whole time. Yeah. Cheers. She just started walking out, so there's down a little more. Where Well guys, I didn't bring the big camera up here because it's raining, but uh, we got some sheep spotted. We are in an insanely awesome place right now, 12,000 feet up above tree line, little lake out here. Brought the fly rod, but we're going to see if this rain passes first. So I'm trying to find us some elk, but I think it's a little too far into the day. To, they're probably in the, in the timber, so... Keep y'all updated with what we find. Got some sheep spotted, but that's about it right now. Hey man, what are we looking at here? Some sheepies. No elk. setting to be in though. I can't tell you what I put on. What are you talking about? I got a little elk hair jig. Elk hair floater, whatever you want to call it. Down to a like a baby snow cone. Whatever. You don't, you don't know what you're talking about. Smoking River Pursuit. Well, we made it back to the house. And uh, we're going to do some fishing before we um, go back out for the evening scout. Saw a bunch of elk, a bunch of sheep. And uh, our cabin that we're staying in is awesome. And it's got a cool little pond and a creek flowing behind it. And both have fish in them, so... I'm gonna throw a GoPro on and maybe we'll catch a, catch a fish for dinner. We'll see what happens, but hopefully we get something. All right, let's see if we can 
get one of these puppies to bite. Oh my gosh, there's fish everywhere. Oh my gosh, he just came up. Missed him. Oh, I missed him. There he is. Got him. Something's happening with my line. Hey, Chris. I got one. on the dropper rig. Awesome. Let him go back into the depths. We'll catch more. No, he hit the bottom sinker. Yeah. Oh, that's a brown. Chris is on. Yeah. Why? That's a brown. Get out of there. it is the next morning we got up at like four o'clock and uh met up with dreo and we're up on this ridge passing all kinds of stuff so i think dreo's got a shed over there he went around to find and uh pick up but we're just getting familiar with the area and uh been putting a lot of onyx points in so i'm gonna show you how i do that here in a minute and uh we're going to keep glassing while the sun's not over the peak yet and see if we can't turn up any bulls. But this is some big, big country. It is. Big five. Dreo's over there. Uh, there he is. Got him a big old shed. All right, guys, I'm using Chris's phone to show y'all because I'm filming on my phone, but... Uh, just gonna kind of run down how we use Onyx. Obviously, we're scouting right now. It's the end of August. I mean, it's the end of July. What is it? The first of August? First, yeah. It's the first. First of August. Um, so these bulls are still in velvet, and they're gonna move a lot between now and when we come hunt. But we mainly wanted to come here and just get familiar with the area and uh, know what trails we can and can't take, and possibly find a camping spot or a couple camping spots. So. We're right here in these ridges. Trying not to give away where we're at, so I'm not gonna zoom in super far, but you can see that these uh, these fingers come off, like that big ridge right here, then there's a big gulch, and then we're on a ridge right here on this side, and these elk will come off the top, and uh, they'll funnel down, so if we can find these elk, figure out which side they like to hang out on 
Chris hasn't been doing it. I've been doing it on mine, but basically what we can do is uh, where we put in, where we parked the truck back here, I'll mark a trail to this point where we're at. And then from here, I'll mark if we see any bulls or, or a group of cows. That group of cows, when we're back here for our hunt, is going to have a bull with them. So uh, I've been marking every group of cows we've seen and you can kind of pattern what side of the mountain they're on uh, and which gulches they like to be in. So uh, it's pretty simple, but uh, tools like this, obviously we have all of our offline maps downloaded. So there's no, well, I guess we do have service here, but when we don't have service, uh, we have a 10 square miles that uh, is offline. So if you don't have any service, you can still zoom in and see all your waypoints and everything that you need to know. So uh, most importantly, uh, you see your boundaries on here of where you can and can't hunt. So, uh, just keeps you good and clear. I got this, uh, this deer tag this year. Yeah. What you got, Dreo? Yeah, 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 some old white pill tags. Too, but it's still cool. Yeah. Hey guys, we're making our way out. And, uh, we're gonna go check out some other spots and then hang out the rest of the day and maybe do some fly fishing. Let's see what happens. Do some steep stuff. Well guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Elsie did amazing. Uh, couldn't have asked more, really. The stuff that we went on this weekend was pretty, pretty rough. If you notice, I got the windows tinted too, so I'm not in a heat box now. Got uh, the windshield tinted too. So, way, way cooler inside before it was super, super hot. But, hope you guys enjoyed this little scouting trip video and taking Elsie into the mountains. There's gonna be a lot more of that. I hope y'all are excited about this elk hunt I have here this year. Super pumped that I got the tag and uh, had fun doing a little fly fishing. Probably gonna do a little more fishing this evening. Um, so maybe there's another video coming, but thank y'all for watching. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, thank you for being here and supporting the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.